giving away this 650 horsepower turbo LS Swap Colorado, and it can be yours. You guys have to go to lsnasty.com to get entered to win. It's 10 times entries and 20 times entries on anything in the past collections, and for a very, very limited time, we have these die-cast black sheep cars, which are absolutely sick. If you get up close to them, you can see they got the parachutes, they got the bullhorns, they got the engine sticking out the hood, TKM, QA1, DCF all on board. You guys can get these. I only started off with 48 and then everyone tried to buy them at once and it crashed the website. So there's a few available. Get them before they're gone. These are worth a bunch of entries and everything you purchase gets you entered to win this thing. Reporting to you guys live from frigid North Carolina, we are here with the black sheep. And a transaction was just made. We are selling the LS. It was just chilling in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for it. It was just being innocent, chilling. We have the turbo kit for sale. Complete turbo kit off the of black sheep for sale. Turbo, wastegate, blow off valve, everything drop in ready. Uh, you gotta DM me for prices on that. Uh, sold the motor to Sean Madden, stick shift guy, up at World Cup, heard a motor, needed a motor, LS7 headed, Matt from Tick hit me up, which Matt from Tick, I did message him and say, hey, I need a T56 Magnum and a clutch for labor, and he didn't respond. Like, he didn't say no, I should say. He did respond, but he didn't say no. So, we're pulling the motor out right now, it is, 8.35, and we're pulling the motor out, so it looks like we're locked in with Tick to get a T56 Magnum and clutch for the labor, which I'm very excited about because my daily needs one. And uh, we're pulling the motor out. He's buying it long block with oil pan and fuel pump oil pump. So we run an external wet sump. So here, come look right here. External is the pump, wet sump is the style here. So it's got uh, a wet sump, which means the oil sits in the oil pan, not like a dry sump would have a very small oil pan and the oil would sit in a reservoir. Uh, but having this pump, much better volume, much, much better oil control. And then that also drives our fuel pump off the back. So very good combo. Really had no issues with it. We put hundreds and hundreds of passes. This motor's, you know, in really good shape. We just freshened up in Georgia. We really haven't raced at all this year. If you think about it, yeah. we haven't raced at all this year. We, this is, this ran Georgia, made shakedowns testing 38,000 different converters, and then we ran... And that's the other thing, there's not really hardly any actual passes on the Well, it, it ran the race at Piedmont and the, the race at um, Darlington, so ran Mike Hill's race, so it really got like three runs on three races on it. Uh, it did well, I mean, it did well in, um, at Darlington, so. Uh, the motor's gone. And the shoulder, you're just gonna have to find this at all, man. Shout out to everyone that's been involved with this motor program. Shout out to TKM Performance, which no, we're not leaving the TKM family. We're just going to a Hemi. To my world, I am so sorry to my world. This is not what we want. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. That's right, you guys heard it here first. We're putting the Hemming screw in this thing, and hopefully, hopefully, we're gonna unveil it at PRI, because this thing has to go to PRI. So it's either gonna be in PRI with no motor in it, or it's gonna be at PRI with a roots blow, or sorry, a screw blower sticking out the hood. How are we feeling? What's the day, what's the countdown? It's the, is it the first? Yeah. We have like, what, 30 days? Literally month like. A month and four days. Yeah. A month and four days? Yeah. A month we and four the, days? We, we can fifth. have the Hemming uh, by the end of the week. Yeah, no, I understand that, but. Everything else, but yeah, everything else just long. stops. The wiring harness same. should be the same. Maybe change we have, a couple we have to add a, a, a dual injector, or second injector module to it. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it would be great. I got to get uh, headers built. We're gonna do down and forward. The headers are gonna come out here, so it's gonna have zoomies out the front, which I think is gonna look sick. Yeah. And um, with the money from this, we're gonna sell the turbo kit and everything. I already have the Hemi. And uh, I guess that we are going to, I'll do some upgrades to it, like a new front end and new doors, maybe put a floater rear end in it because I think this rear end probably won't like 
a hemi and screw. I so think you should get rid of that rear end. Yeah, I mean, I, this this rear end's great for small block stuff and everything we're doing, but a floater rear end probably wouldn't wouldn't hurt and be good insurance. So, um, yeah. Well, we're gonna get to pulling the motor. We're gonna set some time lapses up, and we should just take the headers off. We're, we're gonna pull a tur pull the whole turbo kit out of it. Um, Dude, that QA1 drop shaft's going to see hell with the hemming screw, but I love it. I'm helping. I'm helping, you guys. Thanks. Hey, get some uh, painter's tape and put on the ends of those before we, they go missing. You're holding This was unexpected. So I'm going to call Patrick Miller and Jeff Miller and call them right now and tell them that I'm panicking because we would like to fire it up to drive it to PRI. So I'm going to need their assistance yeah. for getting the blower combo. Look at that. Yeah, just... <laughs> Just don't the even major lack of talent just happened. Don't even pretend like it's not covered in oil and shit. Yeah, that's big stuff. Here, get the wide angle, Dave. Dave, get that wide angle. Can you get it can you get us all in frame? <laughs> You're both in frame. Alright, good. <laughs> I hate you. Tape me up, bro. Ten minutes later. Is that a better angle? No, not for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. Are you wrapping the chest? Yep. You put that in a safe place. I thought he was going to open his mouth. All right. Uh, I'm going to make some calls real quick. We're going to get this motor out. Taking the transmission out, too, because we're going to have to change bell housing. I think we're going to have to change over to a Hemi-style bell. So, hey, it was short-lived taking that motor and putting it in the showroom. It's going right back in here. If we pull this off, this could be one of our biggest changes in history. And finally, finally, I get to cut this bullshit back out. Kept cutting. No, we have the line now. Just cut it. Just cut it. You'll never get it. Yeah, we need to replace yeah, this. Yeah, we fitting. need to replace that. Dude, this brass fitting fittings. has literally shortened this line by six feet. <laughs> I, 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 is that gonna cut it? Uh, is that gonna, you have enough to cut it. What about tennis ground? <clears throat> what kind of tennis do you play? Ah! Again, what kind good? of tennis do you play? That billet floats plate's gonna right. be really nice in our Colorado. That's the sound the sheep's gonna make when it's got that Hemi back in it. All right, hold the motor. I'm pulling the flex plate. Or the flex plate. I'm pulling the torque converter out of her. You hold it two hands. Two hands. Go this way. Two hands. Oh, Didn't even leak any. That yeah, transmission fluid looks great, by the way. Um, watch your leg. How, how long was that for a transmission R? Crab? Um, I don't know. Maybe. It was, no way. Okay, it was. About 30 minutes. 30 minutes. What are you doing? I gotta get my hand up, right, dick. Oh my god. That was. <laughs> so what are you right. doing? He just, well, he just snatched it <laughs> off, so I had to commit it. Yeah. I, well, I feel like every time I pick up something with you, I'm like, what the fuck? My hand right. Oh, fucking false end. Yeah, we gotta get this done. Here. Put your hands right Yeah, I'm it. trying to get on the road, so you, you guys can get this thing out of here. Alright, we can... What do we do with this? Uh, use it in the work trucks.
bathroom. Like, off the bathroom. Dude, my man is going through it right now. It, oh, here gone. we go. Oh, here we gone. go, baby. My man is getting soaked. Yeah, I'm thinking of bath. Hold on, hold on. It will not come off. Oh, you gotta pull it. Probably <laughs> just like hard as shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help, guys. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> no one light up a cig. I was. I don't understand why just everyone watched that happen. I mean, I we, advise not to do it that We knew what was gonna what happen. Else, what else are you gonna do? You just let it piss out of there for about five minutes. Oh, just everywhere. Oh, he was just trying to clean the oil that was on the ground. Oh yeah. Good job, Mason. I'm proud of you. I right, put some of that over there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my man, how 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 great of YouTube was that? <laughs> Someone better subscribe just off that, and then comment down below, and be like, I subscribe because I watch Mason almost catch on fire invisibly. His methanol burns clear. I don't know how how uh, I never use this full motor like an LS motor. I only use this on like a big ass motor. What are we lacking? Just that bolt. Huh? You're gonna bolt out? Is that the last one? CJ. Oh, Todd, listen. Use this as a learning opportunity. Oh, you don't need it. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Bro. Hey, look, look at Mason, look at Mason huffing puffing. He was about to pull. What were you about to pull there? Was he about to, was he about to Corey Smith? Were you about to Corey Smith him? <laughs> I was. He about to Corey Smith him? He was about to let him know. Give me, give me a good Corey Smith right there. What would he do? <laughs> Shout out to Corey, he's my number one transporter of all of my truck parts from Indiana to North Carolina. My dad has just hammered it into my brain that I'm an idiot my whole life. But luckily now, anything anybody says to me goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> but Mason, the problem is it rubs off on me. So now when somebody says something stupid, I just look at them like they're Mason an idiot. Mason lives for the opportunity to express to you why you're wrong. You know what would be really cool is if you did took these out too, because we don't yeah, need these anymore, yeah. and then we'd have. Oh, well, I think you have to to get off the dowels, don't you? <clears throat> Maybe potentially, yeah. 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 Yes. Dude, what an MVP move not to cut off, cut out the motor plate mounts for a Hemi, because uh, one day. When I got my 30 under 30 and they called me to do my interview, they're like, so what car are you driving now? I'm like, well, we got the black sheep and it's actually really cool because it's set up to run an LS, but we still have everything there to run a Hemi. So we can go back and forth. Like we were going to make combo changes. Oh, oh yeah, put the, yeah, yeah, we just put the Hemi in it. Yeah. Well, look at, here we are. Going to PRI, not for 30 under 30, but to go in the booth with the black sheep with a Hemi. What if we get there and it's just like, we're literally working on it all PRI. I think it'd be hilarious. Yeah, like we go to every every vendor and every booth. Like, hey, we need a an eight eight. Can we take it off this display and we go over there? Give me Who wants to sing it? You want to sing in the arms of the angel as it comes out? Sing it, sing it, CJ. Sing it. No. Dude, you didn't let you your dog out. No you got to do something. No dog. Out. You got to let your dog out. <laughs> Come on, your turn. All right, Mason, sing in the arms of the angel. In the arms of an angel. Dude, nothing. Stage fright. Scared. Insane. Scared of the internet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My oil so, feed is still. Turns on. out that's still hooked up. This thing is. Ban you know, I feel like I do this every time. That's it. Mm, bigger. I need a uh, dash. Look at that thing. Mm. Mm. Just a little bit. What if I was like a dick and I took this like specific fitting that goes dark block to a n? Mm. You're like, yeah, that wasn't part of the deal. That'd be some shit that happens to me, though. Am I right? Hmm? Not wrong. Well, that should be it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Found something else. Oil pan heater. Okay, I we're left good. it. I, yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Engine dowels, they're in there. Rear cover looks brand new. Should we take the mid plate off? Or the, the motor plate? Yeah, we will. What about the no, the outcome is can go. I doubt he's gonna keep them. I mean, they would never give me any problems. They just leak a little bit. I think we're clear. Dude, I just want to show everybody how good of a seal I had on the um, header. Look at the header flange. 
Literally, nothing leaked out. Nothing, nothing. Mason, why is that? Why is that? Because you, one, you used the correct RTV, and two, you had the uh, header bolts torqued down to about 75,000 foot pounds. 75,000 foot pounds. Look at this side, let's see this side, let's see this side. Dude, not a leak. That's how you get horsepower. Don't lose any pressure. You gotta keep that pressure in there. Right. Hey. Good. Yeah, factory GM shit. so it doesn't get a bunch of fucking... I've already cleaned this thing out like 17 times. Try not to clean it out another 50. Hey, grab me a clean rag behind you. Watch, I damn, gets all this metal dust caught in this stuff, right? And then the drill bit catches it and just slings the dust everywhere. We're going above and beyond for our customers here. It's really not much bigger than that for a dash can return. This is a thick ass oil pan. Yeah. Damn, I need to go and buy more shit. I'm almost out. Seriously, you guys can go to Rock Supply. They sell these badass grinders. These badass flat discs. Highly recommend them. Right in the face. I do with my eyes closed because it's just getting right in my face. I'd say for having my eyes closed, that looks exceptionally well. Kind of over it at this point. It's just really hitting me, my old girl. Hey, you're almost done. My old girl's leaving. The old black sheep's getting out of here. Oh, motor, I should say. We're tacked. Yeah, you're good. We are tacked. Do the hard part first. I can't stand this. Might just only weld half of it and tell him to deal with the rest. Guys that can weld really good, I, I appreciate you. I mean, it's not ugly, but it, I mean, it's not pretty, but it's functional, I guess. I'm such a piece of shit, so I'm like, I'm gonna weld the hard part, and I weld like a quarter of the hard part. The easy quarter of the hard part. <laughs> Almost there, we're halfway there. All right, we got one of the work trucks fired up with no header, or sorry, just open header, so sounded like a big old boat and tractor over there. My man ready to make it to Maryland. 
You gonna get a wristband too? You gonna stay a little bit? I'm, I'll probably watch some racing tomorrow. Good. Never been to a uh, World Cup. No, really. Worst time, first time World Cup, baby. Hell yeah. Get the motor loaded up here. We got it all wrapped up. We're gonna wrap the top up to get it set in there, but losing out. Mm. Mm. Might be a skip motor job. Load it up, leaving here. Old black sheep motor going stick shift racing. Dave, get some footage at the MIR for us, all right? I never been to World Cup, so tell me how it is. Maybe next year. <laughs> the man with the sharp, I'll get him. I've always wondered what the, the black sheep motor were doing in a stick shift car, we're about to find out. A fast one too. A fast one, yeah, no, it ain't, it ain't no slouch. It ain't no slouch, so there she is. We got all the stuff here. We got uh, one month and uh, three days now at this point. Hey, we can unbolt that mid plate and take it up to the LS and see if it fits. We can take it up to the Hemi. To the Hemi, yeah, I know it fits an LS. I'm sorry. I'm I'm pissed. We got beat out of our DoorDash Taco Bell. What the hell? 